course, the number one headline this morning is that royal wedding that brought so much joy to billions, yes, billions across the world yesterday. We all watched as Prince William made Kate Middleton his princess bride. And the after party, well, it lasted well into the morning. And our intrepid Nick Watt followed them down to the last minute. You're my partner in crime here, and you've even brought me a morning after hangover sandwich. Bianca, I, I've almost lost my voice. I was <laughs> shouting and screaming so much yesterday. No one can accuse me of being an objective journalist. I got carried away. Yeah, we went yesterday from the wedding of the century to a bacon sandwich. This is what the guests were served in the early hours of the morning. 300 people behind palace walls. Here's what we know. From a global wedding bash to a private party at the palace, Kate, uh, make that the Duchess of Cambridge now, gleaming in this white gown designed by Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen, the same designer as her wedding dress. Prince William looking dapper in sultry evening attire. The royal reception was by invitation only, including 300 of the bride and groom's closest friends and family. An eight-tiered cake wowed guests and... Prince Harry delivered a best man speech, laced with jokes at his brother's expense. While outside, hordes of adoring fans rushed Buckingham Palace's gates to try and get a glimpse. And while not as many fans stuck around to see it as the wedding itself, some certainly hadn't lost any of their uh, spirit. It's an occasion that's, you know, never going to be, it's never going to happen again, so it's nice to be a part of. Spirit was flowing inside the walls of the palace. Reports are that most guests left through side gates, pouring themselves into taxis between 11 and 3 a.m. Hi, William Arthur Philip Louis. And more detail coming out about the ceremony. First up, that kiss. We were unimpressed with the first kiss, so we timed it. It lasted a paltry 0.76 seconds, to be exact. Kiss her again! Do you want this? asks William. Another kiss? The now fabled second kiss nearly doubled in time. A new royal tradition, perhaps. I'm taking credit for that second kiss. I started the chant. Now, our very own lip reader tried decoding the sweet nothings the lovebirds were saying to each other. Watch this. William whispered to his bride, You look beautiful. Then, ceremony over, Kate, I'm so happy. But it's a long ride, a long day, and Kate flagged. Cue William. You have to wave back, even if it's too much for you. And during that carriage ride, a stray horse snapped by an ABC producer, bolting. A minor blip, as our lip reader clocked a page boy on the balcony say, it's good fun being with the royal family. You know something? It is. It's good fun. And what we've got to look forward to next, a honeymoon, maybe some kids. You know, I've got to say, Bianna, it's a bit weird, the royal world, but it's the best soap opera on Earth. And we've had so much fun covering it together. Now we just have to wait till the next royal gets married so that we can <laughs> partner up in some of our pieces as well.